Okay, so here we have question 14. A lift moves upwards from the ground floor to the 10th floor of the building. The velocity time graph for the lift is shown. Calculate the magnitude of the maximum acceleration of the lift. So um, this is a velocity time graph. Acceleration is equal to the gradient of this graph. Okay, so um, of a V T graph. So we want the maximum acceleration, so we want the maximum gradient. Now we can see that the gradient starts off at zero, the gradient gets bigger and bigger and bigger, now it reaches a maximum and then it does that. Okay, so the maximum gradient is this straight line section here. So we need to measure the, the, the values of the graph to get the acceleration. So let's find the points at the start and the beginning of the straight line. And let's get the gradient of this. The change in the y is going to be 3.0 minus um, that 0.5. So that is 0.3. And the change in the time is um, from, this is in seconds, so that is 6 seconds minus, um, no it isn't, it's, sorry, it's 5.5 .5, isn't it? Because it goes 2, 4, 6, um, uh, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8. Ah, no rubbish. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is there. So, right, so that is actually 5.5 .5 minus... 3.0. Okay, so we've got uh, 3 minus 0.3 divided by 5.5 minus 3. So I have a value of my acceleration of 1.08 meters per second. Okay, so sketch the graph for. Um, for this uh, acceleration against time. So we can see that it starts accelerating at two seconds. So two seconds is there, it starts accelerating. And it stops accelerating at around about six seconds there. For most of that time, for most of that time, this is a straight line. So the acceleration is constant and the maximum is 1.08. So it reaches a maximum of 1, pretty much, 1.0, which is a maximum of 1 at around about 3 seconds. And then it's a constant acceleration until around about 5.5 seconds, 5 seconds or so. So that bit there is a constant acceleration. It's a curve, so it's a little complicated, but we'll just assume that there is a increase like that and a decrease like that. So that is our acceleration for the first bit. Then it is a um, constant velocity. So the acceleration is zero all the way up until 15 seconds. So that's there. Oops. You can't see there's a line there. Now it's slowing down. It's negative. And if we just have a quick look, does it do it in the same amount of time? Or does it take longer? Well, it looks like it might be about the same amount of time, actually. Yeah, it's about the same. So actually, for this, um, it stops accelerating at about, um, starts accelerating at about 15 seconds, and it stops accelerating at about around here. And it's a, but the gradient is about the same, so we will just draw another line at about 1, minus 1 even. And that is our acceleration time graph. Um, it does say sketch, but they have given us axes. So just to be safe, I will make sure that I put on some values as well um, on the axes like this. Okay. Now, the power developed by the lift when traveling upwards with different loads is shown in the table. So power, remember power, it is the work done per time or the energy per time. Um, and we've got number of passengers, we've got the load, uh, we've got the power developed when accelerating and the power at a constant velocity. 
So the first part of the question says, consider the forces acting on the lift. So when accelerating, what are the forces acting on the lift? Well, here's a lift. Let's draw the forces. There will be a tension in the cable and there will be the weight of the lift. Now, when it's accelerating upwards, we know that the, um, the tension must be bigger than the weight. When accelerating, we need a resultant force upwards. OK, so um, T minus W must equal MA. F equals MA. The resultant force is equal to mass times acceleration. Okay. So, um, yeah. So let's just, because we're talking about the power developed, we need um, to look at the, the, the force which comes from the engine. From the, the, the force from the engine is, is the tension, isn't it? T. So T, if we rearrange this equation, T is equal to MA plus W. Okay. So that is the force is acting when it's, when it's accelerating. At a constant speed, at a constant speed, what are the forces which are acting? Well, they're the same forces, W and T, but now there is no resultant force. So T equals W. So we can see here that um, at a constant feet, at a constant speed, T is W. When it's accelerating, T is W plus MA. 